So I'm getting emails. People want to know what the bounty is for. Here's what I've got. The leader of the new Black Panther Party called for a $10,000 bounty for the man who shot and killed... Uh, black Florida teenager Trayvon Martin, a case that continues to spark explosive emotions and strain the country's racial tensions. Black Panther leader, new Black Panther leader, uh, Mikhail Muhammad said an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. On Saturday, when he announced the reward at a protest in Sanford, a suburb of uh, Orlando. Members of the new Black Panther Party call for the mobilization of 10,000 black men to capture George Zimmerman. Now, Zimmerman has uh, gone into hiding due to the uh, death threats and the bounty. And the offer of the $10,000 reward, uh, according to his legal advisor, Craig Sonner, he should be fearful for his life, Muhammad said. The new Black Panther leader who issued the bounty said he should be fearful for his life. Now... This is a bounty. Uh, where, it, where Where is the president on this? Where is the attorney general on this? I, I would think that somebody in authority would try to do something to calm this down, to quell this, until we find out what really happened. There are too many competing stories. Nobody really is sure of what happened here, but we've got a stereotype that people are eagle, eager to fulfill that's the same stereotype that existed in the, uh, in the Duke lacrosse case. But uh, I, I really, I've been expecting the president all weekend long to stand up and say, we, you know, put this bounty issue in, in perspective, say we can't, ha- this is appears to me to be open, sanctioned, vigilante type justice. I know the president's in North Korea, but he could still say something about this. And when he doesn't say anything about it, I, we're left to question why. And we don't know the answer to that either. But I remember the Rodney King circumstance. Boy, I was uh, back in, in the 90s. When the police officers in Simi Valley were found not guilty, remember the riots that ensued after that, George H. W. Bush went into action. He he mobilized the Justice Department to do a civil rights violation investigation into Rodney King to find out whether the Simi Valley police, of course, that caused its own uh, set of circumstances that riled people up. But at least there was an effort back then to, to quell some of the, it wasn't successful. The riots, Reginald Denny, guy yanked out of the truck in L.A. from the helicopter camera, but he saw that. But it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a puzzling thing to me. Because it, it just by virtue of asking the question, where's the leadership? Where, where's the effort to slow this down, to cool this off, knowing full well it's a powder keg? I wouldn't think anybody, any reasonable person, would want this powder keg to explode any further than it already has. Well, some people say that this speaks volumes about the kind of leadership that we have. We have uh, an election year. And could it be that the administration is restrained here because of that? Remember, Obama's got trouble with his base. That's what this not existent but alleged Republican war on women is all about. Obama is not doing well with the female vote, and he's trying to improve his circumstances there. And throughout polling data, you know, his, his, his base is not that firm because they're not happy with the slow speed with which they thought they were going to get a new kitchen or a new car, at least have a job. So he's a little tenuous here. So that could be one of the uh, one of the explanations. But that's what the bounty is for: ten thousand dollars for the capture of uh, George Zimmerman and uh, Muhammad, Mikhail Muhammad of the New Black Panther Party. Says he should be fearful for his life. Sanford, you're Florida. right on target.